today is November 7th, 2022. And what in the world? And we are listening to the National Anthem of the Bahamas. March on Bahama land. See how to change by itself. Something is happening here. We listen to the national anthem of the Bahamas, which is God's breath, God's decree, God's word. There are sec- hidden secrets in the Psalms, in the word, in the living word, in the national anthem. In the national anthem, there's hidden secrets. And they are found in the Psalms. You see what happened? You see what happened? Let me see if I could. I'm trembling. This white light is taking over everything. It's consuming the brightness. The brightness of the sword. The word of God. Let me see if I get um I hear an aircraft. Let me see if I can find it. Oh boy, woe unto us. Woe unto us. See that? No one can stand. Let me see if I get um let's see if I get um find a national anthem. Yeah, we are consumed by this great 
light. Jesus Christ, light of the world. He's come. He's come. And the brightness is so bright <laughs> that it just, this is what it does to the TV. I mean, to the, to the camera, you see? Now there's some, something wanna come in, let me see. Let me go to the front of the yard and see what's happening at the front of the yard before I go to the living word. I'm beginning to understand and feel what Jeremiah, the prophet, and the other prophets, what they were feeling. Noah. Now I walk inside the house. This is the second time this has happened. And everything is this thick darkness. I'm, I've tried to find somewhere where there's a, there's a door over there, so some light is coming in there, but everything else around it is totally black and dark. And I read this about the three days of darkness. You see, I came from outside with all that light, and now I come inside the house. And this is, this is what's happening. You only get this light where the light is coming in. Other than that, it's dark. See, it's totally black. The Bible speaks about this. And now it is coming to pass. Totally black. Now I'm going to move the camera up towards the window. What the world? You see that? As I move the camera down to the ground, it's totally black. Jesus say, walk while you have light. You see that? You see what happened? Yesterday when it was happening, I got uh, so afraid that something went wrong with the camera, but it's nothing wrong with the camera. This is what this is what is upon us. You see this blackness? I'll read it for you and show it to you. This is what is upon us. Now I bring the camera back up to the window. Inside the room. You see that? I just I shift the camera to my left. Look as I go over and what is happening as I move over. And I'll show you that and read that and show it to you. <clears throat> you see these clouds? <laughs> They're not just clouds. They are performing a purpose, the purpose and the will of God. You see what happened? Okay. So this is the front. And see what's happening as I take the camera up. I say take it up until you see nothing but white light. Nothing. Nothing. Brightness. The Father tell us, look at that little birdie, the Father tell us to look up. To look up, our redemption for it nigh. Repent for the kingdom of God is at hand. Now you see that? See what happened?
see how that brightness coming down and what's happening up there people all I could say is do us what the word says repent we are there we are right at the door camera cannot see nothing when I come out in the light except brightness and light a plane is going over let me see when it gets out. Let me see. Let me see if I can. Let me see how I can have to do this to get the plane. Oh, see it there. See it there in the white cloud. Some birds flying over. Nobody listen. But I could tell you, you will surely feel. You will surely feel. See, I cannot hold the camera up to the sky because. The bright light consumes everything. We are closer each day. We are closer and closer and we are there. See what happened when I walk in the house? Thick blackness. I can show you that in the word. It's God saying to us, I am walking in the house. You could barely see the tile is white. The tile is white so you could barely see the floor. Okay, I'm going to hold it. I'm going up from the floor to the window and this is what's happening at the window this is the type of light I get from the window everything else is totally black I'll show that to you in the Bible I'm walking by the bathroom and only light I have is coming in through the window see a bird just pass Before I read, let me see if I can be able to catch any picture out here. Okay, so I'm outside. <laughs> I'm outside. And this is what's happening. The white bright light has taken over again. I'll show you what that light is. It's taken over. Let me see. Let me see how I like it. Okay. Let's see what the light is doing.
see it look like lightning. I could also show you that inside the Bible. Jesus said his coming will be like the lightning coming out of the east and into the west. Shine it into the west. He's come. So I carry the camera up a little bit and I can't see anything. Bring it down and then I get a picture. Can you believe everything that's written in that book has to come past to be prevailed? This prophecy has been prevailed. I'll show it to you. Father, nobody believe. Nobody believe. Well, you know, you know who do and who do not. And who trample on your word and who blaspheme your word, you know. But you look dark. See these big clouds? A minute ago I could not. You see how the sky change? You see how God change the appearance of the sky? I just had this I just was doing the picture from you. Let me just see if I go further out. One minute. Uh, you know it's the living God. I just finished doing the picture right here. Right here. So you you know that you know. Remember this? And you couldn't really see it. And the cloud over us. Remember we couldn't see the sky because it was filled with brightness, white. But it's the same sky. Now he made it visible. He's teaching us. God say he will teach us himself. He will teach us. He's our teacher. No man could teach you. No man, because no, no man know the will of God. Just the same sky. The same sky. You bring it back in. All I could say is, what a mighty God. What a mighty God. There's none like him. Just the floor. What was black a minute ago? I just returned to its normal. Just the window. When I say I'll go from to the left, just the wall on the window. 
it came back in because God purposed it to show you, to show you God, to show you God. So this is the bathroom window. You only could have seen the window. You couldn't see the bathroom. So this is the wall. And you see this light in the ceiling? Let me show you that. This is coming through the window. This is coming through the window, which is outside. I'm inside the bathroom. See the earth? And the light looking down on the earth. See it coming through the bathroom? You see what she's doing? People, you're not your own. You have been bought and paid for with the price, the blood, the precious blood of the Lamb, Jesus Christ. You are not your own. Okay, the national anthem of the Bahamas, March on Bahamaland. Now, I will show you hidden scriptures in the Bible about this national anthem. <clears throat> okay, here we have Lift Up your heads to the rising sun, Bahamaland. Let's go. Lift up your heads. Lift up your heads. Okay? Psalms 24, verse 7. Lift up your heads, O ye gates, and be ye lifted up, ye everlasting doors. And the King of Glory shall come in. Who is this King of Glory? The Lord strong and mighty. The Lord mighty in battle. Bahamas, don't you all feel like you all are in a battle? Don't you all feel like you all are in a battle? See it in the written word? The Lord mighty in battle. Nine, lift up your heads again. O ye gates, even lift them up, ye everlasting doors, and the King of glory shall come in. Do you all hear? If you all, put your, if you all do this, the King of glory shall come in. Who is the King of glory? The Lord of hosts, he is the King of glory. Now let's go back to, let's go back to Psalms, it's Psalms 24, verse 5, it just read, but let's read from verse 1. The earth is the Lord's and the fullness thereof, the world 
and they that dwell therein. For he founded it upon the seas and established it upon the floods. Who shall ascend into the hills of the Lord? Or who shall stand in his holy place? Listen, people, listen to these words. I, I read these words. I listen to these words. I love these words. He that had clean hands and a pure heart, who had not lifted up his soul unto vanity, nor sworn deceitfully, he shall receive the blessings from the Lord and righteousness from the God of his salvation. Six, this is the generation of them that seek him, that seek thy face, O Jacob, Silai. And then it brings us into lift up your heads. Then we have march on to glory. Your bright banners waving high. March on your bright banners waving high. Okay, let's see what the scripture says about that. Psalms 20, verse, verse 5. We will rejoice in thy salvation and in the name of our God. We will set up our banners. We will set up our banners. The Lord fulfilled all thy petitions. <coughs> See there? Set up your banners. The Lord fulfilled all thy petitions. Now know I that the Lord serve, serveth his anointed, save it his anointed. He will hear him from his holy heavens with the with the saving strength of his right hand. Seven some may, some trust in chariots and some in horses, but we will remember the name of the Lord our God. They are brought down and fallen, but we are risen and Stand upright. Save, Lord, let the king hear us when we call. Okay, here again. Lift up your heads to the rising sun, Bahama land. To the rising sun. Let's see what the scripture says about that. Psalms 15. The mighty God, even the Lord, had spoken and called the earth from the rising of the sun unto the going down thereof. From when? The rising of the sun. <clears throat> Out of Zion, the perfection of beauty, God had shined. Our God shall come. And shall not keep silent. A fire shall devour before him, and it shall be very temperous and around about him. Do you see that bright light that I could not in the beginning when I was trying to record the national anthem? Temperous around about him. He shall call to the heavens. From above and to the earth that <clears throat> he may judge his people. Gather my saints together unto me, those that have made a covenant with me by sacrifice, and the heavens shall declare his righteousness. For God is judge himself, Sinai. Hear, O my people, and I will speak. O Israel, and I will testify against thee. I am God. 
and God, even thy God. I will not reprove thee for thy <coughs> sacrifices or thy burnt offerings to have been continually before me. Nine, I will take no bullock out of thy house, nor he go out of thy fold. Out of thy house, nor he goats out of thy field. For every beast of the forest is mine, and the cattle upon a thousand hills. Eleven. I knew, I know all the fowls of the mountains, and the, and the wild beast of the field. Are mine. If I were hungry, hear that? If I were hungry, I would not tell thee, for the world is mine, and the fullness thereof. God does not want your red half heifer, Israel. God does not want your red heifer. It's right here in the Psalms. You all don't believe in the New Testament, but this is in the Psalms. Go in the Psalms, Psalms 50. <clears throat> Psalms 50. And 9. Verse 9, 10, 11, all of it. God said they all belong to him, so he don't have to tell you to bring it to him. He don't need it from you. He know where they are if he wanted, if he was hungry. <laughs> I love this. I just love this word. The word became my husband. I go to bed with it. I rise up with it. The word is my living bread every day. Every day. If I were hungry, I would not tell thee. For the world is mine, and the fullness thereof. Will I eat the flesh of bulls, or drink the blood of goats? Offer unto God thanksgiving, and pay thy vows unto the Most High. Let's see if we could get this one, uh, uh, one more time. Psalms. 50 verse 14 Offer unto God thanksgiving and pay thy vows unto the Most High and call upon me in the day of trouble I will deliver thee and thou shalt glorify me, me, not a false prophet, a false messiah, not a man, not an angel, not trees, not stones, nor any other God other than the living God, which is light. He is the God of light. And in him is no darkness. That's who you offer your sacrifices to. In thanksgiving, giving thanks for whatever it is. See it there? Sixteen. But unto the wicked. God said, what hast thou to do to declare my status, statutes, or that thou shouldest take my covenant in thy mouth? Seeing thou hast instructed and cast my words 
behind thee. When thou sawest a thief, then thou cometh, then that then then thou consented with him, and has been partaker with adulterers. Thou givest thy mouth to evil, and thy tongue frameth deceit. Thou sittest and speaketh against thy brother. Thou slanderest thine own mother's son. These things hast thou done, and I kept silent, though, though thou thoughtest that I was altogether such and one as thyself. No, Father, I could never think that. I could never think that. You. <laughs> That's what they thought, and that's what they're still thinking. Yes, but I will reprove thee, and as and and I will reprove thee, and set them in orders before thine eyes. What you gonna do, Father? Let me hear that again from the Living Word. I will reprove thee and set them in order before thine eyes. Now consider this, e that what is page twenty two. Now consider this, e that forget God, lest I tear you in pieces and there be none to deliver. Whoso offereth praise glorified me, and to him that ordereth his conversation aright will I show the salvation of God. Now I want you to look to the left and you're going to see some round light circles. Let me see. Let me turn this thing more. You're going to see some round circle lights in my left. And I'll show you them. They're very quick. See it there? See it there? In the block to the far left. See it there? See it there? The round light. See it there? See it there? See it there. You can better see this on a smart TV than on your phone. See the light there? See the sun? Um, see how the flag waving? See the flag waving? That is the breath of the God moving that flag. See the light? The round circle. See the round circles? See the rising sun in the national anthem? See it there? See it there? See the rising sun?
I didn't know this was here, but God, He will bring, He say, He will give you your heart's desire. I did not notice this. Um, I just was coming out of that other thing and I landed on this. This is JCN News, November 4th, Segment 1, published on November 4th. I want you to look very, very closely on those round circles of light that I showed you in the flag. Do not move your eyes from off of her or the camera or her, her face or her hat and watch it until I complete recording what I'm recording so you don't miss it okay so I'm starting from the beginning so I don't miss anything the ministries who are still waiting I understand their eyes but I would like to give a message of hope today. We are working on social services promotions. Um, in fact, we've been working in tandem with the minister and the technical team at the Ministry of Social Services, the Minister Obi Wilson, to get their files uh, commission ready to be able to move on for their promotions. Minister Glover Rowe went on to say that public service teams are currently working and focused on completing the promotional exercises to ensure that workers get what they deserve. Marking the end of Public Service Week, hundreds of public service workers gathered at Long Wharf this morning for a public service parade organized by Minister of State for the Public Service, Pia Glover Rowe. Minister Glover Rowe shares the importance of today's events. The public servants are out on the streets today in large numbers. Watch out. Uh, representing their various ministries, the, departments. The light of Jesus units. manifests today on all. Is a Watch. celebration of public service. And I'm happy to be here to support, especially because of the fact that it's been a number of years since they've been able to have a parade. Here. Um, in my time as a public See the light. Servant, See the light. I can appreciate. See the, the light on her. Round circle light. Do. I can See appreciate there. all of the good things about public servants, but I can also appreciate the sacrifices that they've made. So today we come out to acknowledge them, to recognize them, to celebrate their commitment, their selflessness, their sacrifices. And while there are many here, there's still, of course, many on the job serving the public. The minister notes from Abaco, Eleuthera, uh, Grand Bahama, Exuma, where I'll be going tomorrow to continue the celebration. Tomorrow morning, we have a fun run walk and health fair, and I'll be leaving immediately after that to go to Exuma to wrap up public service week. So to public servants, thank you, thank you, thank you, and God bless you. This is definitely a testament to the strength of public servants in the Bahamas. The fun run walk and help. This is Hurricane Doran. Full episode Gathering Storms National Geographics. I want to share something with y'all and show y'all something. God brought this to my attention last night and I watch it again. I seen things before, but on your phone you cannot see it as clear and as visible as if you are on a smart TV where it's bigger. So let me show you something that was revealed to me. I am just going to be sharing with you portions of what I need to share with you for you to see. Um, but you will have to go back and watch the whole thing to get a complete run of what's going on here. But let's just hear. century is closing in. It's happening. We are proceeding inbound to Dorian. More intense than any Atlantic storm ever recorded. Holy, that part of the wall is gone. This is Hurricane Dorian. The 
see the white light. As storms hit new extremes and defy prediction. National Geographic gave cameras to more than a thousand marine workers. See? They don't even notice this there. See the lights there? You go back and pull it up. See the round lights that I showed you in the flag? And I showed you on the, I forget to say her name, Glover. See it there? Let's go on. To film wherever storms might strike, right around the globe, on a scale never seen before. This is what came back from our cameras, caught in the path of Hurricane Dorian, the fiercest Atlantic hurricane in history. Just your standard VHF radio. Watch this. And I think it's up in here. This is the marine forecast. This is the main thing we listen to when we're out. Listen in the background as this video plays. You're going to hear a sound that is like where this sound is coming from. But people aren't, uh, are not paying attention to it. But I heard this sound before in many videos that I've been recording. It is very, oh, <laughs> like coming out of a dungeon or whatever, but you could hear it in the background. They are not aware of this. Let's see. It's deep into hurricane season. Ron Yao is starting out on a regular 10-day trip on his shrimp boat, Sea King, taking with him one of our cameras. We're traveling offshore of St. Augustine Beach. <laughs> And this is what it's looking like outside right now, which isn't so bad. Out in the Atlantic, a buildup of storm clouds watched by weather satellites has begun to grow. Will you see that? As it... Winds hit 40 miles per hour. It's classed as a tropical storm and is given a name. Dorian. When I put it on pause, <clears throat> it interrupts, but I want you to look in this area right here. Look in here, you're gonna see, see what we call, um, a halo of the sun or that dark circle around the sun. You could barely see it in between here, but I'm going to go back a little bit and watch very carefully. That is out there and they don't even know it's out there. They cannot see it. Fishing. Boat's ready. We're fueled up. Everything's green light for go. Sea King is one of hundreds of vessels now off Florida's Atlantic coast. See it there, see it there, see it there, see it there, see it there. See it there. As they keep see watch it there. on the new storm. They don't see that. You see, that's the tropical storm Dorian. You can see that the uh, wind has changed. One of them is container ship Summer's Isles. It's predicted to be coming uh, quite bad in the coming days. Tropical Storm Dorian is now bearing down on Barbados, where another camera is rolling on board the tug Pelican 2. All right, the weather is deteriorating already. And bearing down on Florida at 300 miles a day. Out to Hurricane Dorian. In Florida, flight NOAA 42 is moments from takeoff. Plane side, I'm ready. 
This is America's primary asset in forecasting how a storm will behave. The P-3 Hurricane Hunter, an airborne weather station that flies right into the storm. Taking with it one of our cameras. We march into the storm and we directly measure things that can't be measured any other way. 042 on departure, turn left heading 180, runway 827, cliff takeoff. Their mission is to fly through the eye. You see that? See the eye? You see a bright light flash over? See it right here. See it right here. Now, the interesting thing about this is, you see this sky out here this morning when I first could not get the sky. This was coming. This was coming in the sky. This was a manifesting and appearing in the sky. Now, look at this very carefully. They do not see this because they are looking here. They are looking here in their computer. And this is not in their computer, but you see a piece of it? It's over there in their computer, but they still, it's not visible to them. So you see this? You saw this outside in the sky in all of my videos and today in the video. Look at this, go back, and you'll see this in the video. See? Now, I have no idea why God brought me to this last night to watch the whole thing all over again. You see that? It goes very quickly. Very quickly it goes. There's something else over here. But you see, they're they are looking into their computer monitor. But this is what their camera is capturing. This is what their camera is capturing. But their camera is... Their camera is capturing it, but it not, it's not visible to them. Let me see if I could just go back a tinge bit. Oh. Their mission is to fly through the eye. See that? To pinpoint Dorian's exact center, Radio sensors drop. 10 seconds. The wind speeds start to come up. Add it with me. See where that's coming box. from? We'll get set up on a line. And we're going to try to find the eye of the storm. Inside 30 seconds. Roger, 30. See about what's coming up. Ten seconds. The wind speeds start to come up. We get bumped around a fair bit. And then you start to hit the eye wall. Here we go. Here we go. Which is essentially this wall of precipitation. Let me... The eye wall is where a hurricane's winds are at their most powerful. One of the motors is right out my window, and the rain is so intense that I can't see the motor, and it's not a meter out my window. It's phenomenal. The rain impacts the propeller with so much force it hits the metal. Once we're inside of the eye wall, we actually follow the winds. And when they get to zero knots, that is the center. Yep. Quick, we're going into it now. The most critical thing of every mission is fixing the center. 
of center in the turbulence. You do. So I see this brightness coming inside the house. Let me go outside and see what's happening outside in the heavens. This in the bathroom, this in the kitchen, and I step outside. And this is outside. With this line. See this line coming down? Now let's go up. And the line goes up towards the sun. See that? <laughs> People we have been warned again. And I think whatever it is, It's no match for Dorian. It's no match. It's unmatchable. The trees dancing. Wait, let me see. I'm gonna finish showing you something on that video before I take you into what the word says about all of this. And see the blue-green light, what I showed you on the ship, what I said they can't see? See it there? See it there? I told you they couldn't see it, and it was not in their computer. It was on the side. See it there? See it there? God has prepared this table for us, my, this day. We are all just in Bible prophecy. Nothing else. The Bible is being fulfilled, and we are all on this earth, playing a part and bringing prophecy to fulfillment. That's it. That's it. Your life is not your own. Your life is not your own. You don't have no purpose and you don't have no will. The will is of God. Jesus said, not my will, Father, but thy will be done. Something we are transitioning into a different kingdom into the kingdom of God. These clouds, I'll show it to you in God's word, what these clouds are doing. They're leading us the way. What a blessed people we are that we can see what Noah and the people couldn't see when Noah was spilling the boat, but God is showing us. God give us, provide us this video with the heavens showing us it's coming. See the light there? That light. It's the light of Jesus. I'll show you where he said, I'm coming to the world a light. And I'll also show you where the God says, I am that I am. So it could be anything and any appearance of light. Anything and the appearance of light. A plane coming over. Oh, see it over here. <clears throat> Thank you. 
hit there. Got always do it. I see two plane, eh? One there. And then there's one up higher. A small one. Or something moving. Yeah, yeah, that's a plane. But took you see how the light it do a bright light? Ooh, let me get out the sun. And the thing just disappear. Oh! <laughs> I go on and walk in some paint. I had some paint on the outside of the shed and it come out of the can where I guess it was so hot and gone on the ground and I walk back into it. Sorry about that, excuse me. Whatever is coming, Doran is a joke to it. It's a joke. It is a joke. You can't run. You can't hide. Whoop, see that just now? Oh, I ain't comb my ear. You see how the camera switch and just going on me? You see how the camera just switch and going on me? And I even ain't combed my hair yet for the morning. But, you know what? That's God's will. It's His will. You just see, you see what happened? How oh, the thing, while I had it up in the sky, it just switched. That's what it did when I was being, when I was hydrated. <laughs> when I was hydrated. When one day I saw a living, this, uh, like something on the door, it was Sargon Dorian. I saw this living action on the door, moving about, and something said, get your camera and take a picture. And I see the thing was, the, whatever it was, it had life, it was moving. I have the videos, I send the videos out to everybody. And... The camera just switch on me, and I didn't want to take no picture. And I said, well, why this on me? And somebody say, leave it. Look here. And this, <coughs> I was right about here when that happened. And I did it, I did it again today. In the world, let me see. I cannot see what's going on in the back there. Can't see. I don't know if I take in anything or not.
through there and found some stronger winds, some lower pressure as well, so they upgraded it. Bearing down on the island of Great Abaco, Dorian's power intensifies in three mighty steps. With the eye five miles from the island, it's wind speed like a lion. 185 miles per hour. 185 miles per hour. Like Dorian just picked that eye. It's starting to speed me out. Just before noon, Sunday, September 1st, Dorian slams into the island of Great Abaco to become the most powerful hurricane ever to hit the Bahamas. Opened wide. There's a Grand Bahama size hole in this wall. A stadium of cloud now 23 miles across. What they discover is a hammer blow has stopped the most powerful Atlantic hurricane to make landfall has stalled over Northwest Bahamas most populated island your storm moving at a normal speed at that intensity is going to be devastating. To have a storm basically sit over the same general area is a, about the worst type of scenario you could imagine for those areas in terms of the impacts. Okay. See the light? Oh, I saw it. One minute. The worst type of scenario you... See the light? See the light? See the light? In terms of the impacts. See the light? See the light? See the light? See the light? This is what's left of the resort. And there's some of the boats that were in the marina. For 36 hours, Dorian has subjected the Bahamas to the most prolonged and powerful battering of a populated place ever recorded. It's difficult to fly over these, these areas and look down at the devastation. To see the, the level of violence that these storms can exert on the surface of the earth and suffering that the, the people that are on the ground but we got to get over it because our focus is the current observation and how that translates into protecting people in the coming days for this particular storm it's a challenge uh, if you haven't made plans to get out of here it's probably time to do it yep i'm here this is happening you know there's no going back this is what we're doing September 5th, 2019, at my house, ready to go. Bring what you got, Dorian. A lot of people left. We're here for see it now. There. Oh, see it there, see it there, see it there, see it there. On the outer banks, fishing crews keep our cameras running as they head ashore to take care of their property. Watch very closely. You can see this round circles of light. In Hatteras, Dorian's Category 1 winds have pushed a 7-foot wall of water on shore. A tsunami-like storm surge is ripping through North Carolina's outer banks. Honestly, right now, the, the worst thing is... See the light? See the light? See the light? The See the light? Look at it. Look at the rocking right there. 
See the light? See the light? See the light? Just hoping the See, the out soon. See the line? See the line? King Dorian was the island's worst ever natural disaster. This catastrophic assault lasted 27 hours, the most prolonged battering by an Atlantic hurricane of any populated place in recorded history. This says the Yanka Tara scholars pay homage to the grandeur of his Tara. Now, let's see these be uneven, uneven appears to be a human being. I don't know what that is because I'm in the middle of this, whatever this is, but let me show you where Jesus is not on this earth as an angel or a man. Let me show it to you from the Word of God. So this is a false imposter. Jesus said many has gone out in his name. The biggest See the real light on him? See the real light? See the real light on him? See that? See the bright light in the back? And in between, you see it? No. <laughs> You see it because it, it's, it's living, it's alive. You saw that light coming down out of the sky? He never looks up and he always has his hat over his eyes and his face. See the light on it? What kind of a side this is? I couldn't even listen to him. He's so uninteresting. Always looking down and just talk continuously, continuously. God gave them over to their own delusion because they don't believe in the New Testament and they don't believe in Jesus. So he gave them over to their own delusion. Let me show you in God's Word where He's not a man. He's not a, He did not come back to this earth as a man, as a physical person or an angel. See how they worship in Him? The Bible is being fulfilled. The Bible is being fulfilled. That's it. See the light on His eye? They don't even know that Jesus is inside there with them. See the lights again in the back there? And see what they're doing? They have life. They have life. Now let me show you what I speak.
This is another prophecy that has been fulfilled in the Bahamas, Ezekiel 13. She has fulfilled that prophecy. She has fulfilled the prophecy of Ezekiel 13. And here she says, walking dead zombies in the church, prophetess Dr. Maddie Nordage. What she actually does is accuse everybody She's the great accuser. The great accuser. She pre she accused everybody of being unrighteous and not dealing with the true God. Everybody she accused. Everybody. And the Bible that I read tell me that there's none that is righteous. She exalts herself above all and tell teach people that they have to come to her an apostle. Lies, big dirty lies. She has, she has fulfilled the prophecy of Ezekiel 13 in this Bahamas. She has buried seven living Bibles in her foundation at a wall, a prayer wall, her altar. Seven, and so the, the country we right now, the war of heaven is against the war of earth. The kingdoms of the earth has come against the kingdom of the heavens. And that's what we are going through and that's what we experience right now. Now you all could pull up all oh, everything is out there on the internet. Everything is out there about her in Ezekiel chapter thirteen. So you could find that on my page, Pandora P A N D O R A. Last name store, S T O R R. You could pull up the videos and see. But look at something happening. Look, look, look. Okay, John chapter 12, verse 46. But I'm going to start reading at verse 44 and bring you into verse 26. 44, Jesus cried and said, He that believeth on me, believeth not on me, but on him that sent me. 45, and he that seeth me see it, 
him that sent me. I want you all to get this, people. I need you all to hear this, get it, and understand it, and believe it. God 46. I am come a light. Let's go back again. I am come a light into the world. That whosoever believe it on me should not abide in darkness. He did not say a man. He did not say an angel. He did not say anything. He said a light. I am come a light into the world. That whosoever, whosoever believeth on me should not abide in darkness. And if any man hear my words and believe not, I judge him not. For I come not to judge the world, but to save the world. He that rejected me and receiveth not my word had one that judged him. The words that I have spoken the same shall judge him in the last day, which we are here. You see it? From I got up this morning, I'm still doing this video. In the last days, you see the signs in the sky pointing that we are here. For I have not spoken of myself like these other people. But the Father which sent me, he gave me a commandment, what I should say and what I should speak. And I know that his commandment is life everlasting. Whatsoever I speak, therefore, even as the Father said unto me, so I speak. John chapter 12, verse 35. Then Jesus said unto them, Yet a little while is the light with you. Walk while ye have the light. Least darkness come upon you, for he that walketh in darkness knoweth not whether he whether he goeth. People, God demonstrate that in the beginning of the video when he turned everything into darkness. You all remember that? See it, the living word. I'm reading what has happened, what has transpired in the video. In the beginning of the video, darkness. What it says, walk while ye have the light. Least darkness come upon you. For he that walketh in darkness knoweth not whether he goeth. <clears throat> 36. While ye have light, believe in the light that ye may be the children of light. These things spoke Jesus and departed and did hate himself from them. So I went to the bathroom and I looked through the window and this is what I see, dark clouds outside. Dark clouds. There's a big the sun is in a great big black cloud, dark cloud. I wouldn't call it black, it's dark. But the sun is sitting in this dark cloud. You see the Bible come into life right before your very eyes. I just finished reading these things and here it is. I step outside and it, it, it is 
the word of God says heaven and earth will pass away, but not his word, not his word. You see that? I looked through the window. I needed to take a break and go to the bathroom. And this is what I saw when I threw the window. And I'll sh continue to show you what these clouds, what the word of God said, these clouds are. We're there, people. It's just a short time before these prophecies, they have to be fulfilled. The false prophets, see the little light? I am that I am, God say. It's just a short time before these those prophecies, they have to be fulfilled. They have to be fulfilled. The false prophet and the false messiah. And one day, and I just read about the darkness, and you all saw it earlier, one day you will not get anything on your phone. You wouldn't be able to see the person near you. Be there, see the trees saying yes? See the trees clap their hands and saying yes? The universe. God said the rocks will cry out. The rocks will cry out. Everything is coming together exactly the way God purposed it to be, the will of God. Everything in its perfect time. And all of us are just in this great big prophecy. That's it. That's your life. It's a prophecy of the fulfillment of the word of God. Father say, ask, and it shall be given. Seek, and ye shall find. Knock, and the door shall be open unto you. God is not a man that he'll be a liar. See all those lies? People just, and you know, the bottom line about all of this is, could you believe it? All of this is just for money and wealth and, and what they call prosperity in this filthy earth. It's so silly of us to buy into this earthly thing. When God says he's going to destroy this earth and this heaven and he's going to make a new earth and a new heaven. I don't want nothing from this world. I want nothing from this world except to see the lives and mind, body, spirit, and soul of my brothers and sisters enter into the kingdom of heaven that God will call them, call us all. Call us all. We're all sinners. None righteous, God say, not one. No, not one. So how are you going to exalt yourself above your brother and your sister? They have to be a liar. They have to be false. God says, none. None, I believe what he tell me. And I'll show it to you. He said, all that ever came before him was thieves and robbers. They rob everything. What you see that for me? They rob. That's the same type of thing with form. You remember in, in, in Doran, how they say the clouds had form? And me. This is what on another side. These clouds are not just clouds, people. They're performing a purpose, that which God purposed them to do and to be. John chapter 9, verse 5. As long as I am in the world, I am the light of the world. John chapter 11, verse 9, Jesus answered, Are there not twelve hours in the day? If any man walk in the day, he stumbleth not, because he seeth the light of this world. 
What if a man walk in the But if a man walk in the night, he stumble it because there is no light in him. Like how Mary Nordic just have people in church seven days a week from sun up to sundown. I'm gonna show you one day what she's been doing to you all because every man needs his rest at night because that's when God put the instructions inside of you at night in a deep sleep. And you could tell me why she keeping you from your sleep. She know exactly what she's doing. And then she's telling you what your dreams is. No, no person. God said, if you are a dreamer and tell dreams, tell dreams. But if you are going to say his word, say his word. John chapter 8, verse 12. Then spoke Jesus again, again unto them, saying, I am the light of the world. He that followeth me shall not walk in darkness, but shall have the light of life. Matthew chapter 24, verse 21. For there shall be great tribulation, such as was not since the beginning of the world to this time, no, not ever be, shall be. And except those days sh should be shortened, there shall be no flesh to save. But for the elect's sake, those days shall be shortened. If any man shall say, unto you lo here is Christ or there believe it not because you cannot see him as a physical person he's a light you I read that right for they shall arise false Christ and false prophets and shall show great signs and wonders inasmuch that it it were Possible they shall deceive the very elect. Behold, I have told you before. 26. Wherefore, if they shall say unto you, Behold, he is in the desert, do not go forth. Behold, he is in the secret chamber, believe it not. For as the lightning, you all get it, people? For as the Lightning, comet, out of the east and shine it even unto the west, so shall also the coming of the Son of Man be. For whosoever, for, for wheresoever the carcass is, there will the eagles be gathered together. Immediately after the tribulation of those days shall the sun be darkened and the moon shall not give her light and the stars shall fall from heaven and the powers of the heavens shall be shaken and then shall appear and then shall appear the son of man in a in they shall appear the sun the sign of the Son of Man in the heaven. And then shall all the tribes of the earth mourn, and they shall see the Son of Man coming in the clouds of heaven with power and great glory. That is the lightning. That is the lightning now. He's not going to be sitting in front of you as a physical person teaching you lies he's not people everywhere we have to help the Israelites Israel with knowing this doctrine God said this, 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 this must be preached throughout the whole world because they do not use the New Testament they don't believe in the New Testament 
So it's easy for them to be deceived by this false Messiah because they don't know this doctrine shall be shaken. And then, sh okay, I finish it down. And then shall appear the sign of the Son of Man in heaven. And then shall all the tribes of earth mourn, and they shall see the Son of Man coming in the clouds of heaven with power and great glory. And he shall send his angels, which with a great sound of a triumph, and they shall gather together his elect from the four winds from one end of the heaven to the other. Now learn a parable of the fig tree when his branches is yet tender and put it forth these. He also know that summer is near. So likewise, even he shall see all these things, know that it is near even at the door. 34. Verily I say unto you, this generation shall not pass till all these things be fulfilled. Heaven and earth shall pass away, but, but my word shall not pass away. But of that day and hour knoweth no man, no, not the angels of heaven, but my Father only. But as the days of Noah were, so shall also the coming of the Son of Man be. For as in the days that were before the flood, they were eating and drinking, marrying and giving in marriage until the day that Noah entered into the ark and knew not until the flood came and took them all away, so shall also the coming of the Son of Man be. John chapter 10, verse 7. Then said Jesus unto them, Again, verily, verily, I say unto you, I am the door of the sheep. All that ever came before me are thieves and robbers, but the sheep did not hear them. Jesus, what did you say? Let me hear that again. You say all? Yes, all. All that ever came before me. All that ever came before me are thieves and robbers. But the shepherd did not hear them. I am the door. By me, if any man enter in, he shall be saved and shall go in and out and find pasture. The thief cometh not but for to steal and to kill and to destroy. I am come that they might have life and that they might have it more abundantly. I am the good shepherd. The good shepherd giveth his life for for the sheep. But, the, but he that is an hurling and not the shepherd whose own the sheep are not see, seeth the wolf coming and leaveth the sheep and flee it and the wolf catcheth them and scatter the sheep. The hurling flee it because he is an hurling and careth not for the sheep. I am the good shepherd and know my sheep and I am known of, of mine as the Father knoweth me, even so know I the Father, and I 
lay down my life for the sheep and other sheep I have which are not of this fold. Could that be the Israelites and the Muslims and all of those who don't know Jesus or believe him? Listen to, let's go back and hear what they say. And, and other sheep I have also I must bring and they shall hear my voice and there shall be one fold and one shepherd. Read that again. And other sheep I have, which are not of this fold, them also I must bring, and they shall hear my voice, and they and there shall be one fold and one shepherd. Therefore doth my father love me, because I lay down my life that I might take it up again. No man take it, it from me, but I lay it down of myself. I have power to lay it down and I have power to take it up again. This commandment have I received of my father. Exodus 13 verse 21. And the Lord went before them by day in a pillar of cloud to lead them the way, and by night a pillar of fire to give them light to go by day and night. He took not away the pillar of the cloud by day, nor the pillar of fire by night from before the people. So you see that's what those clouds are there doing. Exodus 14 verse 19. And the angel of God which went before the camp of Israel removed and went behind them. And the pillar of cloud went from before their face and stood behind them. And it came between the camp of the Egyptians and the camp of Israel. And it was a cloud. It was a cloud and darkness to them. You saw the darkness in the, in the video. So that they, so that the one came not near the other all the night. Exodus 10, verse 21. And the Lord said unto Moses, Stretch out thine hand toward heaven, that there may be darkness over the land of Egypt, even darkness which may be felt. Boy, I, that's what you all saw in the, in the camera. Remember, you couldn't see anything. And Moses stretched forth his hand toward heaven, and there was a thick darkness in all the land of Egypt. Three days. We have people, we, I, I think we are near that. I think we are near that. So all your business, all your internet, everything, there's going to be total confusion. You're not going to reach nothing. Nothing is going to connect to nothing except the living word of God. Nothing. You'll get nothing except the word, this living word of God. Let's finish reading. God demonstrated. He showed you the darkness. They saw three days. They saw not one another, neither rose any from his place for three days, but all the children of Israel had light in their dwellings. Why would God show that manifest that if that's not going to happen again? Exodus 3 verse 6 
Moreover, he said, I am the... One minute. Moreover, he said, I am the God of thy father, the God of Abraham, the God of Isaac, and the God of Jacob, and Moses... And Moses hid his face, for he was so afraid to look upon God. And the Lord said, and said, I have surely seen the affliction of my people which are in Egypt, and have heard their cry by reason of their taskmasters. For I know their sorrows, and I am come down. What you say, Jesus? I am come down to deliver them out of the hand of the Egyptians and to bring them up out of that land unto a good land and a large and, and large unto a land flowing with milk and honey unto the place of the Canaanites and the Hittites and the Amorites and the Petrusites and the Hittites and the Jubasites. Now therefore, behold, the cry of the children of Israel is, Come unto me, and I have also seen the oppression wherewith the Egyptians oppressed them. Come now, therefore, and I will send thee unto Pharaoh, that thou mayest bring forth my people, the children of Israel, out of Egypt. And Moses said unto God, Who am I that I should go unto Pharaoh, and that I should bring forth the children of Israel out of Egypt? And he said, Certainly I will be with thee, and this shall be a token unto thee that I have sent thee when thou hast brought forth the people out of Egypt ye shall serve God unto this mountain and Moses said unto God behold when I come to unto the children of Israel and shall say unto them the God of your father hath sent me unto you and they shall say unto me, What is his name? What shall I say unto them? And God said unto Moses, I am that I am. And he said, thou, Thus shalt thou say unto the children of Israel, I am hath sent me unto you. And God said, Moreover unto Moses, Thus shall thou say unto the children of Israel, The Lord, God of your father, the God of Abraham, the God of Isaac, and the God of Jacob, has sent me unto you. This is my name for ever, and this is my memorial unto all generations. So everything that you see in the sky, or the light, that God, his name is I am that I am. The National Emergency Management Agency will host a press conference at 3.30 tomorrow afternoon at NEMA's headquarters, Gladstone Road. The press conference will provide an update on the low pressure area that is expected to develop into a subtropical or tropical storm. Other news for you this evening. Prime Minister, the Honorable Philip Davis and his technical delegation arrived safely in Egypt yesterday for the See the lights? See the lights? United Nations Climate Change Conference. World leaders and experts will gather to commit and discuss reducing the emissions of causing climate change and negotiate the financing of climate change related debt adaptation and mitigation. Climate change remains one of the biggest threats to the Bahamas. In fact, Prime Minister Davis has said that climate justice is the greatest fight of our time and he continues to be an advocate for urgent action to the crisis. Climate change related events has caused the Bahamas more than four billion dollars over the last six years resulting in an increasing national debt. In a See the line? The International See the line? Fund Director of the IMF, Christina Georgieva, provided a resolution to the issue.
We have made one. Let's watch and follow the lights. The lights is with the team that went to Egypt on climate change. You know why? There's no such thing as climate change. It is the living word of God being fulfilled. That's what it is. But let's go and watch where these lights are following them. Low pressure area that is expected. The Honorable Philip Davis and his technical delegation arrived safely in Egypt yesterday. See the lights. Much anticipated COP27 See the lights. See the United lights. Nations Climate Change Conference. World leaders and experts will gather to come. World leaders provide an update on the low pressure area that is expected to develop into a subtropical or tropical storm. Other news for you this evening. Prime Minister, the Honorable Philip Davis and his technical delegation arrived safely in Egypt yesterday for the See the lights? See the lights? See the lights moving United by? Nations Climate Change Conference. World leaders and experts will his technical delegation arrived safely in Egypt yesterday See the, the light? See the light? See the light? United Nations Climate Change So I asked Jesus about see the light there? What I was trying to show you with Prime Minister Brave Davis, see it there? It's moving very quickly across the screen. Um, you know, I said, Father, please, I don't want to be doing anything or be a part of anything that is evil and not of you. And if this is of you, please show it to me in your word. Show this to me in your word in the living Bible that Identify me in this word that this is you that have sent me to do this. And let me show you what the scripture that was given to me. Identifying me. It identified me to the very T. There's something inside of it that I know that I know that is me. Because God gave it to me. When he put me in this earth. And so I'm inside the bathroom. I am inside the bathroom. Blessed be the name of the Father, Son, and Holy Ghost. Amen. Father, I thank you for the living word, the truth. Jesus say, I am the way, the truth, and the life. I am the way, he says, the truth and the life. See the earth with the light looking down on it, the globe. It's also coming through the bathroom window. And let me read what the scripture says about me. Isaiah chapter 8, verse 18. Behold, I and the children whom the Lord had given me are for signs and for wonders in Israel from the Lord of hosts, which dwelleth in Zion. Now, this prophecy has been fulfilled because you see the signs and you see the wonders. I just finished recording it. Okay, 19. And when they shall say unto you, Seek unto them that have familiar spirits, and unto visits that peep and that mutter, should not a people seek unto their God? That's all I see. That's all I trust. That's all I believe. I trust no angels. I trust no man, no children, no boy, no girl, no government. I trust especially no human and no angels. I don't trust them. I trust only my creator, the living God. That's who I trust. That's who I believe in. And I say, God, don't, I don't even want to see them angels because uh, how our life get the way it is because of angels. I don't want none of them. And you know what God said in this word? I will never leave you or forsake you, and I will be with you to the end. 
and those words has become flesh and you see every video I do the light is in the video with me okay for the living unto the dead 20 to the law and to the testimony if they speak not according to this word it is because there is no light in them and they shall pass through it hardly beasted and hungry and it shall come to pass that when they shall be hungry they shall fret themselves and curse their king and their god and look up and look upwards and they shall look unto the earth and behold trouble and darkness dimness of anguish and they shall be driven to darkness how much darkness we've seen in this video today this very day Isaiah chapter 30 verse 1 woe to the rebellious children said the Lord that take counsel but not of me and that cover with a covering but not of my spirit that they may add sin to sin Isaiah chapter 24 verse 1 Oh boy. Behold, the Lord make it the earth empty and make it waste and turn it upside down and scatter abroad the inhabitants thereof and it shall be as with the people, so with the great with the priests, as with the servants, so with the master as with the maid so with her mistress as with the buyer so with the use with the seller as with the lender so with the borrower as with the taker of usury so with the giver of usury to him the land shall be utterly emptied and utterly spoiled for the lord had spoken this word the earth mourned and faded away the world languished and faded away. The haughty people of the earth do languish it. Languish it away. The world languish it and faded away. The haughtiness of people of the earth do languish it. The earth also is defiled under the inhabitants thereof because they have transgressed the law, changed the ordinance broken the everlasting covenant therefore why are we having all this problem listen to what it says therefore had the curse devoured the earth and they that dwell therein are desolate therefore the inhabitants of the earth are burned and few men left the new wine monitored and the Wine languish it, all the merry hearted do sigh. James chapter 17, James chapter 1, sorry, verse 17. Every good gift and every perfect gift is from above and cometh down from the Father of lights, with whom is no variableness, neither shadow of turning, of his own will be God, he us with the word of truth that we should be a kind of first fruit of his creatures. Now the false prophet and the false teachers are telling us our first fruit is a week's salary, a day's salary of your pay. That is not. We are God's creatures, the first fruit of his creatures. You see how they twist and turn the word? And be, make yourself a liar. Wherefore, my beloved brethren, let every man be swift to hear, slow to speak, slow to wrath. 
for the wrath of man worketh not the righteousness of God. Therefore, lay apart all filthiness and superfluity of naughtiness, and receive with meekness the engrafted word which is able to save your souls. Be ye doers of the word, and not hearers only deceiving your own selves. For if any be a hearer of the word and not a doer, when I see whatever I see, I do it. He is like unto a man beholding his natural face in a glass. For he beholdeth himself, and goeth away, goeth his way, and straight away forgetteth what manner of man he was. But whosoever looketh into the perfect law of liberty, and continueth therein, he be not a forgetful hearer, but a doer of the work, this man shall be blessed in his deed. 26. If any man among you seem to be religious, like all those that I have showed you, those false prophet and false teacher, if any man among you seem to be religious and bridle not, his tongue, but deceive it his own heart, this man religion is vain. Pure religion and undefiled before God and the Father is this, to visit the fatherless and widow in their afflictions and to keep himself unspotted from the world. First John chapter 1 Verse 3. Sorry, that's verse 5. Then, no, this then is the message which we have heard of him and declared unto you that God is light and in him is no darkness at all. If we say that we have fellowship with him and walk in darkness, we lie and do not the truth. But if we walk in the light as he is in the light, we have fellowship one with another and the blood of Jesus Christ, his son, cleanses us from all sin. Not no man, not no prophet, not no priest, not their prayers, not their prayers. If we say that we have no sin, we deceive ourselves, and the truth is not in us. If we confess our sins, he is faithful and just to forgive us our sins and to cleanse us from all unrighteousness. If we say that we have not sinned, we make him a liar and his word is not in us. Father, let the words of my mouth and the meditation of my heart be acceptable in thy sight, O Lord, my strength and my redeemer. Even so, come Lord Jesus, come. Father, let your will be done, let your kingdom come in earth as it is in heaven. Blessed be the name of the Father, Son, and Holy Ghost. Amen and Amen. People, the time is here. The time is come. The time is upon us. Any day, any day now, the signs are all around us. All around us. All around us. I read the clouds. I read everything from the Word. I didn't tell you all anything but me. I did as the Father directed me, the Holy Spirit, who teaches us all things. All things. You see the light? That's the light you see. Jesus Christ has come into the world as light. 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 Nothing else. Not as a man. Not as a person. Or thing. But as light. 
Blessed be the name of the Father, Son, and Holy Ghost. Amen and amen. Nassau, Bahamas, November. All I could tell you all people is what the Word of God says, repent. Repent for the kingdom of God is at hand. Look up. Look up. The Father is up. He's up. He is up. Satan is below. He is up. He said to look up. Look up our redemption. Draw it nigh. The Father is so gracious and long suffering to deal with us. So compassionate, so understanding, so loving and caring that he wished that none should perish. He prepared this video for you. For my God up this morning, until now, whatever time it is of the day, I just do the will of the Lord. Because that's what, that's what we were sent here for, to do the will of the Lord. We are not our own. We are not our own, but we are the Lord's. For the fulfillment of prophecy, he sent us to this earth. For the fulfillment of prophecy, that's why we're all here. We're not our own. We have been bought and paid for. The price is the blood of his only begotten Son, our Lord and Savior Jesus Christ. The one who blood was shed for us. The one who body was broken for us. The one who hung on a cross and died. The one who rose from the dead and who is alive and who has come this day. Right now he's dwelling among us to fulfill the laws of the prophets. Any day any day that can take place oh look there there's a silver i don't know it's it's going over there let's see it disappear it disappearing was the silver thing it's still over there it gone it disappear i don't know if i caught it i don't know if i caught it I saw it earlier too, and it disappeared. Jesus said this gospel, this gospel must reach the ends of the earth. This gospel, the gospel of Jesus, the light of the world has come. And the storms that you see, Everything that happens, the loving Father, there's no power other than the power of God. And if anybody get any power, God give it to them for prophecy to be fulfilled. For prophecy to be fulfilled. Something is happening out there. For prophecy to be fulfilled and For the honor and glory of Almighty God, for, for the will, for His will, His will to be done. Jesus say, not my will, but thine will be done, Father. Even so, come, Lord Jesus, come. I read what these clouds are doing. Take up your cross and follow Jesus. Take your cross up and follow Jesus, because the time, man, listen here, the time is speeding so fast. So fast. What is upon us? God said the world has never seen and never see it again. Doran was just a shadow of what is to come. Just a shadow. Doran was a shadow of what is to come. Can you imagine? Can you imagine? But you know, those that are in Christ, 
that's nothing to worry about or don't fear. The whole world could be tumbling down around you. And you just have your hope and your trust and in the Lord. That's it. That's it. I have no fear of whatever is to come. I fear God, but nothing what is to come. Because it has to come. It must come. It will come. Blessed be the name of the Father, Son, and Holy Ghost. Even so, come, Lord Jesus, come. Father, not my will, but thy will be done in earth as it is in heaven. Amen and amen. Even so, come, Lord Jesus, come. We are there. We are there. We are there. Too many miraculous things have been happening with this camera and the greater power that be just is here, is here. Father, I wait for you. I wait for you, Father. Amen and amen. Blessed be the name of the Father, Son, and Holy Ghost. Even so, come, Lord Jesus, come.